I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <sighs> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! Time. But... <sighs> Please. I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? How is this? Is this a dream? Maybe. You tell me. You okay? Don't I look it? I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So, it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home, you know? Honestly, it's not that bad. So what? You want to stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. Your mom's really worried, too. Hmm? Too? So you're worried about me? Uh, of course I am. I'm sorry about that. Really. Is that... Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. So... You need to embrace this moment, right?
I'm glad I met you, Cloud. I really am. I'm grateful for all the words we've shared, for all the moments and the memories. You've made me more happy than you know. And I'll always cherish what you've given me. But... But whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. Even if you think you have, it's not real. Do I get a say in all this? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. If that's what you want, thank you. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. Mm -hmm. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. Are you going? Um, I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet, it's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? That's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. You'll come back, right? Of course, I promise. <sighs> okay, you can go. She's tougher than me. Alright, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith.
My fellow grounders, listen up, because boy, do I have some news for you! The office must be crazy. So after bombing reactors one and five, what do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7! Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage! The sky is falling, and Avalanche is to blame. But wait! Did you know Wutai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wutai, puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth. Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil, come on. Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wutai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them, we got them. Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gill apiece, cough it up! The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu-Tai! I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit... <clears throat> <clears throat> no one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you... Don't. I know we're short on time, but let's try to help out wherever we can. How far... Oh! Cloud! Have you seen the kids around by any chance? I haven't seen them since they left to do their patrols. I knew I should have told them to stay inside today. If you do happen to run into them somewhere, could you tell them to come back right away? I can describe them if it'd help. Don't worry. I'll know. Just stay calm and wait here. You never know. They might come back on their own. Okay? Uh, yes. Of course. Thank you so very much. You know. Hey, I know you. You're Eret's bodyguard. I could really use her help. She always knew where to find the best herbs, and you haven't seen her, have you? I used up all my meds treating people injured when the plate fell, you see. I could make more, but not without those herbs. So what do you need? You mean you're willing to help me out? Oh, thank you. You'd be doing this town a huge favor. Here's a list of everything I'm looking for.
I'd been stockpiling Shinra meds, but it was nowhere near enough. Apparently, Aerith was looking after flowers elsewhere, not just at her house. Am I glad I caught you? Sam, he told me who you are. Said you're a merc and a former soldier at that. Listen, I hate to ask, but we got a few runaway birds. Mind helping us find them? Poor things were so startled by that plate coming down, they just up and bolted. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, frightened and hungry. <sighs> My poor birds. Worried about them, huh? All right. I think we can help you out. Oh. Thank you. When you find them, feed them this. There's three missing all told, and their names are Coco, Lolo, and Momo. They'll come on home once they got some food in their bellies. Good luck. I'm counting on y'all. It's you, my good Merc! What brilliant timing you have! Oh, hello there. It is a pleasure to meet you both. I'm a journalist for The Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz? You mean that trash filled with Shinra fluff pieces? Well, yes, that's fair. <laughs> but we do get a lot of inside information because of our close ties with the company. <laughs> Curious? Here's the scoop. A certain division of Shinra, that shall remain nameless, was planning to seize Corneo's assets. But before they could, the key to his secret vault, within which his misbegotten gains were securely tucked away, was stolen. And my sources tell me that the thief is the Undercity's beloved hero, the Angel of the Slums! The unidentified bandit who's been targeting anyone with ties to Shinra or Corneo. Yes! That angel of the slums has struck again! Well, do I have your undivided attention now? Kinda, but hurry it up. We don't have time for a three-act play. Then I'll make this quick. So, my good Merc, you do remember where the angel's hideout is, right? Do you remember the death threat she left there? Oh, that. I decided to seek the silver lining in this case. If the Angel of the Slums deigns to take an interest in a humble reporter, then that itself would be a story. <sighs> what are you asking? If you recover the stolen key, feel free to help yourself to the contents of Corneo's vault. All I want is knowledge, the identity of the Angel. So if you happen to learn anything of value, I'd be tremendously grateful to you if you passed it along. Cloud? Hmm. Gotta be one of them lost kids. Lost? Who said we were lost, stupid old man? What'd you say? What are you doing out here? And where's everyone else? Well, we saw a bunch of tombstones lying on the ground, so we decided to stand them back up. And then I heard laughing coming from somewhere, and when I turned around, everyone was gone. I was alone. disappeared. Heads up!
time to burn. So why'd you kids come out all this way? This is where our parents are. They're resting, but we wanted to say hi. Sometimes you just want to do that, you know? I do. Thanks so much for coming to find us. That's another one I owe you. We're gonna head back to the house now. Ms. Foley is probably pretty worried. Hey, Cloud, I found this on the ground. You should take it. I think it might come in handy. Bunch of little smart asses. <laughs> with good hearts.
Those gloves up. Sure thing, coach. Hey there, Mark. Brought some friends today, I see. Name's Murray. Cloud and me, we... Well, let's just say we're recent acquaintances. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, if I had to guess. Hunting for Don Corneo's fortune. Now how'd you know about that? <laughs> well, there's nothing I love more than a good rumor. But I decided to fact-check this one myself. Hate to burst your bubble, but it's not here. If the Angel of the Slums got to it first, then I'm guessing that gill is as good as gone. Sounds like a reasonable assumption. But you know, that's not the rumor that's been making the rounds. Humor me real quick. A question. Hypothetically, if you did manage to get your hands on this treasure, what do you think you would do with it? Easy. Make sure the people of Sector 7 had the means to get back on their feet. That's what. We'd use that creep's fortune to better the lives of everyone down here. Hmm. Right. Back to this rumor. Word on the streets says the Angel doesn't have the key. If you want the full story, talk to Kyrie. She may be young, but she knows everything about everyone. She's easy to spot, too. Striped stockings, big hat. Girl doesn't exactly fit in. Where is she? Oh, who knows? I'm too old to keep up with kids her age these days. You understand. Ugh. That journal is a real pain in the ass. No holding back. Let's finish this. Bring it on! 
it's over. You won't find anything here, I checked. Kyrie sticks out like a sore thumb. Look for striped stockings and a- You won't find anything here, I checked. Let's end this quick. Oh, 
What were you thinking? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Crawl into a hole and die! Oh, Johnny's been had. Bro! Tifa! Damn, is it good to see you guys again? I told you to stop calling me that. Bro, I'm in serious need of your expertise. Lend me a hand. Fine. What? Truth is, I'm uh, trying to get out of town for uh, reasons. Yeah, reasons. But the thing is... <laughs> I got mugged! She took it! Took it all, man! <sighs> I tried to chase her down, I really did! But she was real fast like. Man, what am I gonna do? This could be the end for old Johnny boy. I'm begging you, help me out. Come on, bro. What'd she look like? Bro. Uh, hold on. Let me think. I wanna get this right. She was a cutie, black hair. Pretty sure she was wearing a hat. And, uh, oh yeah, she was wearing these striped stockings too. Kyrie? Which way'd she go? Uh, toward the church, I think. You know how many of us is this one? If I knew this was gonna happen, I would. Take him out. With What? It wasn't me! You've got the wrong girl! Never committed a crime in my life! You Kyrie? Uh, Kyrie? Who's that? <laughs> Can't say I know her, but cool name! <laughs> Someone mugged our friend and took every last skill he had. Sound familiar? Oh, that? <laughs> Whew, I thought I was in actual trouble. Don't scare me like that. Now I remember you. You're that chick. The one who was spreading lies in Sector 5. 
I did do that. <laughs> good times, good times. <gasps> Hold on. I know you, Blondie. You're that merc everyone's talking about. <sighs> Maybe my luck's not so bad. Shinra's after me. You've got to help me. So from them too, did you? No. Well, yes, sorta. It's complicated. How was I supposed to know they were Shinra? And now those jerks won't leave me alone. Even though all I took was some ugly key. I mean, what's the big deal anyway? Wait a minute. That was you? <sighs> oh, great. So everyone's talking about it? <laughs> Is this the end? Am I a dead woman? Do I have to go in the run? <laughs> Leave Midgar forever and, and never look back? Kyrie, please. Just give us the money you stole from our friend, would you? And the key while you're at it. No way! You're gonna split the second I do! And then who will protect me? I can't handle this on my own! <sighs> <sighs> we'll handle Shinra if you give us the key. Deal? It's a deal! Right about now, those Shinra creeps should be hanging out at the Colosseum. They're waiting for a special match to start, starring yours truly. It's the talk of the town. You're joking. Oh, I won't be there. I'm not stupid. It's a miracle you've managed to stay alive this long. I'll take that as a compliment. Now run along and clean up my mess. 